All right, you guessed it. Print it out email time. Uh, this one is entitled, How do you cope with being alone in the woods? There's actually a lot in that question to unpack. I, I, have, a lot of, I have a lot of things to say, even about that one sentence, but I'm going to read. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start reading the email. I've been thinking about moving into the woods for quite a while. Being independent of the city system brings lots of financial benefits. But at the same time, it breaks connection between you and your family, friends, and relatives. Right now, now I understand that, and I'll talk about that, but I'm going to keep reading. If the things get, the, he throws you a curveball here. Right now, due to corona, I haven't seen any of my friends for quite some time. Lack of social interaction is making me crazy. I'm depressed. I can't imagine living, uh, imagine myself living in the woods. It seems terrifying. You seem to be so happy in your videos. How do you manage to stay happy and motivated? What's your secret? Is it that you just don't have much spare time in the woods? Uh, so let's go ahead and bring, uh, talk about the elephant in the room. Because I know on this channel, we do a bunch of memes, we do a bunch of hilarious jokes. One of them being that I moved out, I'm a uniboomer, I moved out into the woods, and I'm probably writing my manifesto, I've ne I haven't seen a human in months, and I'll probably start sending out bombs. Okay, that's a joke if you're, if you're watching from the FBI. Um, so, that is a meme, that's a, a recurring joke. I, let me tell you, uh, I am not alone in the woods at all. Uh, not only, you know, do I do the basic social things, going to church two, three times a week, uh, I'll usually have dinner with friends once or twice. I'll usually see people pretty much every day. I mean, there are some days I stay, if I don't have any work or anything else to do, I just want to stay here alone. I can. Um, but of course, I see people all the time. Uh, I can go to the small town close to me and I can just walk into any store and talk to someone if I, you know, I feel like I want to talk to someone. So the idea of uh, me or anyone else who moves to the country being alone. I mean, some people do that. They try, oh, I just want to live a couple months alone or something like that. Uh, sometimes, I don't know, people do that. Uh, but I do not. I live, I have probably more social connection than I ever did in a city. I, well, I don't want to say that. Maybe some, sometimes I talk to people more in a city. Uh, but I am cer certainly not deprived of any kind of social interaction. Uh, so that is a meme. It's a joke we make. And so if anyone has the idea that, oh, when I tell you to move into the woods, I'm telling you not to talk to another human, that is absolutely not the case. Um, and what I, uh, I think one time, one thing I talked about on that uh, stream I had uh, uh, with uh, Woes or whatever the other week is a lot of people use these terms like self-reliance, sometimes self-help, sometimes being independent of the system, as this guy says. Um, all of those are meme buzzwords, okay? In fact... I mean, the, the real term for this is it's just living a normal life, okay? Living a life that is not designed for you and planned for you in a city where you have to rely on, uh, you know, this government that is like locking you down and doesn't let you do anything, okay? It's just called living a normal life. And guess what? I do it worse than other, like other people around here. They, you know, they might hunt for their food. They might be more independent. I don't even hunt for, I'm, I'm a cuck. I buy meat from the grocery store. I know I, I'm, to, I'm totally effeminate for that. I need to start hunting. Uh, but anyway, so let's talk about, now the, the funny thing about this email, you probably caught on to the irony of this email because he says, oh, I don't want to break connection with my family and friends. Uh, and I'll, I'll reread this sentence uh, after that. He says, right now, due to Corona, I haven't seen any of my friends for quite some time. Lack of social interaction is making me crazy. I'm depressed. I can't imagine myself living in the woods. It seems terrifying. Okay, let me tell you what the lockdown was like down here, which of course no one cares about. No, no one out here is afraid of dying, unless you're, you know, 95. No one is afraid of dying of uh, a virus that kills 0.001% of people who have it, uh, if, if you inflate the numbers. Um, so out here when the lockdown happened and people didn't, uh, you know, people couldn't go into work, I had, fr I actually had friends staying at my place. Uh, we had dinner pretty much every other night with uh, other friends in town. We did social stuff all the time. It was like a big, it was like a big vacation, frankly. And, uh, it was over pretty quickly after maybe a month or so. And then, uh, you know, we all just like lived our life, did whatever we want. Like it's back to normal here. Uh, it, it's not just back to normal. It's back to normal, you know back to how things were in the 1940s, all right? So, like, does anyone complaining about how terrible things have gotten in cities? Uh, you will not have to worry about things out here. So, um, yeah, social interaction, it, it, it just seems strange for me. Uh, strange, you know, to me, for someone who's, like, living in a 1984 dystopia uh, in a city 
where they're locked down and they can't see their friends and they like the only way to talk to their friends is on Zoom, you know, being monitored by a government government agent probably. Um, and they're worried about moving to the country because they won't be able to see their friends that they can't see anyway. Okay, I'm a little confused by that. Now, I do sympathize with the thing this guy says, but he seems to indicate that his family lives in a city. Now, friends, you know, maybe this is mean to say, but friends are replaceable, okay? Like, I, I know a lot of you guys who are right out of high school, you're like, oh, I want to keep up with my high school friends. Eh, might be a waste of your time. I mean, if you have someone who you really like and you're just, you know, uh, ride or die or something, um, maybe, but like the, listen, I've moved from many places in my life and I will just tell you I don't, usually keep friends from the previous location. It's much easier to actually have friends where you live. I'll just tell you that. And as you guys know, I don't do social media or any of that stuff. Um, so anyway, so uh, friends, that's an easy thing to replace, uh, even, even if that sounds a little cruel. But hey, if your family lives in a city, um, I, 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 hey, man, that's, that's great. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I just don't really feel like, and I think it's very important to be connected to family. One of the reasons I, I moved out here is because I have some more distant family members, most of which I didn't know before I moved down here. But um, uh, either way, like I do think that that's important and I don't think you should throw your family under the bus. Uh, but in this case, I mean, it's not abnormal for you to, you could move out an hour or two from the city and you could probably actually see, I don't know if this guy's living with his parents or not, but uh, it would not be that difficult to see them. It'd probably be easier nowadays because you can actually go out and do stuff in the country, whereas you can't go out and do stuff in the city in a lot of places. You gotta wear, gotta wear your little cuck muzzle and stuff like that. Um, so that is one thing. Uh, so so I, I, I think the previous year, now you might say, oh, I'm saying all this stuff assuming Corona and assuming the Corona lockdowns are gonna last forever. Here's the one thing I want people to, to, to take away from this or the whole Corona stuff. Um, like but all of the things I recommend to people, move, being independent, moving out of the city, those are things that I was recommending far before this stuff happened, okay? And um, once it happened, it, it just, in a microcosm, it shows you an example of how easy, like this is not a pandemic that killed 10% of people or got anywhere close, okay? Um, so like imagine if something actually big happened in a city that they didn't like inflate. Imagine if something like actually bad happened Re that helps you realize how reliant on the system you are. This this previous experience of all this kind of, uh, I mean, 2020, people, I actually really hate it when people are like, oh man, 2020, that was such a terrible year. 2020 is a forced meme. It was a normal, like objectively, it was a normal meme, but because of forced memes from the media, it was a miserable li uh, life for many people, okay? But if you're living in the country, it doesn't make a difference. But either way, whether real tragedies or fake tragedies happen, it is better to be out here. It is better to have a normal life rather than more of a bug man life when you're reliant on, uh, you're reliant on so many things out of your control. And hopefully this year has, this previous year has shown you exactly how little control you have over your alleged life, okay, in the city. Um, so again, I am not living in a cabin uh, and I, it's not that I never see people. Um, that is not how it works. If you think that that's how, what you have to do to live in the country, that's not how it is. Uh, you're going to be fine. Uh, this is just normal life. All right. So don't, don't be afraid. I would be much more afraid of living in the city right now because you have no, you have the sword of Damocles above your head. Uh, any manner of things could totally destroy your life at any point in time. And things are frankly liable to get worse in the future. They might improve in the short term. But um, that liability you have is only increasing as time goes on, okay? So that, that is it.